Getting closer to the entrance, Claire looked at the guards. A few of them had noticed Claire and her group. When the group reached the entrance, a guard walked up to them. Hello, adventurers. I'm assuming that your group is heading out to complete a job? The way he talked to them was in a relaxed manner, as though it was something that was a common occurrence. Tommy smiled. We've been assigned with exploring the deeper parts of the forest. He thumbed behind them towards the guild. There'll be another group that's tasked with checking up on us periodically to make sure that everything is okay. He informed them. Much appreciated. You adventurers do our town a great service, which is great. The guard grinned and then looked to the other guards. Giving the other guards a thumbs up, he then looked back at them. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Just so that we're aware, how long do you expect you'll be out? Candace shrugged at the guard. The job is for an undetermined amount of time. I guess they just want us to be thorough, so there aren't any surprises for the town. Hearing that the job would have them outside for such an unspecified time period, the guard pressed his lips together in thought. Letting a sigh, Well, we'll keep an eye out for your group. I think I've seen some of you before, so it should be all good. He then waved for them to continue through the gate. Tommy waved a hand at the guard and then the others at the gate. Waving at the guard, Claire followed after Tommy. She noticed that the guards were intently looking at those coming and going. What was all that about? Hannah asked when they were far enough away from the gate. They're just making sure that we are who we say we are, Abby explained. One of the guards will head back to the guild to confirm the numbers in our group, she sighed. It's not the first time you'll have to deal with that, Candace said to Hannah, sounding annoyed. The larger the city, the more they're interested in who you are and what business you have. Though it was easy for us to leave, if we were coming inside for the first time, the guards would have to run to the guild and confirm our identities. She shook her head at how tedious the process was. Looking back at the gate, Claire could see some people waiting in line to enter the town. Based on the weapons that some of the people were carrying, in addition to the packs and gear, it was obvious that they were adventurers. Just like what Candace had said, they were likely waiting for the guards to confirm their identity. Returning her gaze to what was in front of them, Claire was amazed at how thick the force was on either side of the main road. Compared to the town, the sun felt as though it had turned down in intensity. The trees were thick and looked as though it would require several large men holding hands to wrap themselves around the trunk. These trees are massive, Claire said to no one in particular, just feeling as though it was needed to state the obvious. With the trees blocking out a lot of sun, the ground was covered in green moss and leaves. Instead of continuing down the road, Tommy left the cleared area and entered into the forest. We'll need to head to the area that's been left untouched, so we might as well enter here. Abby entered the forest, looking back at Claire, saying, Even though this area is patrolled by adventurers, you need to pay attention. You never know what's inside this place. She cautioned to make sure Claire wasn't going to be overly relaxed. Hearing what Abby said, Claire made sure that she was on guard. Glancing at Hannah, her friend had a similar determined expression. A hand tapped on Claire's shoulder comfortingly. When she looked at whose hand it was, she saw that it belonged to Astrid. Just keep your awareness and you'll be okay. We'll make sure to cover for your mistakes. 
Astrid motioned with a hand to her and Frida. 